What is going on YouTube? My name is Mendez, and in today's video, we're going to be covering the brand new comp auto rifle, the Repose. The Repose is a 720 RPM. It is a lightweight frame. It's actually very unique. The scope looks very cool in the uh, inspect screen. And when you see it in game, the red dot is actually very, very clean. The model's very small as well. The role that we have today is hammer forge rifling, high caliber rounds, killing wind, and golden tricorn. We're also going to be pairing it with a stability master work and the stock fitted stock. By the way, I just want to throw it out there. You can enhance the perks. But yeah, that's pretty much the role. I just want to say before getting into this video, big shout out to the homie Scuffs for letting me use his account. If you want to catch me live, you guys can catch me live over on my Twitch, twitch.tv slash Mendez. And if you guys want to chat with me whenever I am not live, you guys can join my community discord. Both those will be linked down below. Without further ado, I hope you guys go on to enjoy this video. Thank you guys so much for giving me your time. God bless. We got Eventide Labs. I kind of forgot this was in the sixes pool. I'm not going to lie. So getting this map is a little bit weird. I don't know if I can go in here and kill this guy. Oh my goodness. We almost died. And I don't know how he regen. Cookage! Oh, I just rolled. Holy! I was not expecting to get a single kill with the Geo. I guess we got three. We'll take it. Got you, teammate. I got you, buddy. This thing makes me feel like I'm on crack. I'm not gonna lie. Like, in terms of, uh, like, tracking and whatnot. But that's just how I feel about ARs in this game. Like, the Destiny shooting style paired with, like, tracking. I don't know. I just love it. More on ARs than SMGs. Don't worry, teammate. I got you. Oh, it don't matter that I got you now. The game's over. GG's. Awesome game. That was a very, very quick match, but I feel like we didn't do too bad. We dropped 22 and 1. Yeah, that was a pretty good game. For like how fast it was, that was not too bad. We can go ahead and get into another game. All right, well, we unironically got Eventide Labs. I guess we got round two. Here we go, teammate. Here we go. What in the straight line was that? A boom. And then I troll. There we go, baby. Regardless of what went on this match, we got our we ran. That's all that matters. Jesus. 
I almost just had to hit the crouch spam of my life. There we go. Good team, teammate. That's when this becomes unfun. It makes a good recording game into kind of boring because people are leaving. If you'd like, the model's very small as well. That's a very plus for me. A big plus for me. I need to get my hands on this thing. If I could get a laser beam roll, oh, it's actually doomed for everybody. Because I actually love using ARs. All right, well, we had Eventide back to back. Kind of crazy. I would assume we dropped like at least, I mean, we dropped at least 20 because we had a Wii Run. But I would say we were good for like 32, 33 kills. Oh, we were good for 43. God dang. But yeah, that was a very good game. All honesty, we had one short Eventide game prior to this. We'll do one more game for the culture. We'll get into the next game. We got Wormhaven. Hopefully we can make something work here. Oh, I don't have roof. I'm dumb. We're on demon timing right now. We actually might die for kills if we push in like that. We were just going to. Oh, Lee, we are weak. Oh my god. Playing life is actually just so annoying when there's bows in the lobby. We got some heavy. Let's go. Kaboom and kaboom. Kaboom and one more kaboom. I feel it. Uh, boom. I'm oh, maybe not a full kaboom. All right, well, we ended up mercying another team. We got very close to how we ran, but I trolled it. I trolled it very hard, just like always. We're good for 20 kills. In a mercy rule, not too bad. That's pretty much all we can ask for. We'll go ahead and get into the weapon breakdown. Now that we're here in the weapon breakdown, so what we're going to be talking about is perks that I think are very valid for this weapon. All honesty, so for the perks that I would recommend, I would personally go for hammer forge rifling in the first slot or arrowhead break. For the second slot, I would go high caliber rounds or ricochet rounds. Uh, I would prefer ricochet because it is better. It gives better stats high caliber rounds is another good option for the third slot i would go for zen moment zen moment is a very very strong perk i think this perk actually blows every other perk out of the water on this column it also has potential chances to get tapped the trigger and it also can get killing wind like we see here for the fourth slot you have multiple perks you got things like target lock dynamic sway encore and you also have kill clip i would personally go for kill clip if you want to go for more range and stability stacking you could try encore and if you just want a stability beam you could go for dynamic sway zen dynamic Dynamic Sway might be a little bit too much though. I would prefer the damage perk. The next thing that I would do as for the stock, if you guys don't want to run arrowhead break, you can just get fitted stock. I know I, I say you can just get it, but if you go for that roll, you can get fitted stock and it brings plus 20 recoil direction. You pair that with counterbalance stock and it will max out like 100 as we see here. This roll that he has does not have arrowhead break. So as you guys can see, once you have fitted stock and counterbalance stock, it goes to 100. Without counterbalance, it only goes to 86. You can try it with and without counterbalance. I prefer with. That's pretty much it for the perks. All honesty, my opinions on the weapon. Weapon. I think this weapon is very cool. Out of the ARs that they have introduced in the past couple of updates and whatnot, this is one of my favorites. I think the auto rifles are awesome in this game. I've always been a fan of auto rifles. I think the fact that it's a comp weapon is even cooler, and the fact that they take into consideration weapon model is everything. Thank you guys so much for giving me your time, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.